It's Eva and welcome to my food channel. If you are interested in beauty, fashion, lifestyle, or gaming, I do have two separate channels for that down below, which I will leave if you guys do want to check it out. Specifically, this is the series where I take cool or trending things on Instagram or other social medias. It's just usually Instagram because that's where I'm most active and Instagram really has everything nowadays. So something that's been trending around a lot recently is cookie dough. Usually I try and narrow it down to a restaurant or two, but for this one, cookie dough has been trending so much that it's being sold in so many different stores and I'm talking about edible cookie dough, not the one with eggs that you're typically not supposed to eat raw. So I'm sorry for not narrowing it down to one or two restaurants this time because there's just way too much going on. I do have to say though, with every single recipe, I do a lot of research to try and make it successful and to be honest, this recipe is really simple and there's quite a few variations, but they're really generally the same thing. They're made out of pretty much the same thing, just a few differences in measurements here and there. I'll leave the recipe that I referenced to in the description box as usual. And if you do want to see me taste this and the results, just watch until the end of the video after the process, which is pretty short considering how easy this recipe is. But before we get into it, please make sure that you are subscribed if you haven't yet with the notification bell ticked down below and give me a big thumbs up if you like this series. Also comment down below letting me know any other suggestions that you guys want to see me recreate or attempt to recreate in my little amateur home slash my amateur skills. I'm not a professional chef by the way in case you guys didn't realize. But other than that, let's just get right into this. Start off with softened butter in a bowl. I'm using a shallow bowl because it's easier for me to mix in with a fork, which is essentially what I'll be using. But I mean, you could also make this with a hand mixer in a bowl, stand mixer, or a super strong blender if you'd like. Whatever is easiest for you. Add in sugar and vanilla extract, and then just cream it all together. Next, add in your choice of milk. I'm using almond milk just because I prefer drinking that. And then just mix it all together again. Finally, mix in the flour, one spoonful at a time until you get the consistency you prefer. Remember that if you do choose to chill it later, it will thicken up. When you're happy with the consistency, add in your choice of toppings or fillings. This is where you can get really, really creative, but I'm just going with the classic milk chocolates, but you can use stuff like cocoa powder, raisins, nuts, cereal, or even custom flavorings, whatever you want. All you have to do is just fold in the toppings and serve. Alright, so let's see how this tastes. I have the cookie dough right here. I actually moved it into a bowl so it'll be easier to test it out and everything. But it looks like cookie dough consistency, I'd have to say, though. Most of the cookie dough that I'm used to eating is the one that's in ice cream, which is a little stiffer than this. So I think if I wanted to replicate that, I'd have to put it in the fridge. It's just, <laughs> I'm impatient. So I'm just gonna eat it as this, which I feel like it's gonna be creamy. So let's just go for it. Oh. Hmm. To start off, I typically don't eat cookie dough like this, so I don't really know what I'm supposed to base it off of. The only cookie dough that I'm used to eating is the one in ice cream, which is pretty similar to this, I'd have to say. It's just this one is definitely a lot more creamier. You definitely do need toppings as well, in my opinion anyways. I just feel like if you just eat the cookie dough by itself without chocolate chips or like maybe some nuts in there, it doesn't taste as good. It kind of just tastes like plain cookie dough, which no one really eats plain cookie dough, do they? I feel like the sugar isn't dissolved into the butter enough, so if I were to remake it, I would probably heat up the butter and then add in the sugar and make sure you really mix it, make sure it really dissolves and there's no greens in it anymore of sugar. And then I would probably just refreeze the butter to try and get that consistency back of that creamy and like somewhat structured consistency that's a little thick. And then proceed with the recipe because I can feel the little sugar granules and that's just not my cup of tea. 
If you guys do try this recipe, please let me know and link it to me because I want to see. I also want you guys to comment down below and let me know what your first cookie dough experience was. Was it also cookie dough ice cream or were you just baking? You were kind of like, hmm, deep. <laughs> let me know if that was you. And then also please subscribe if you haven't yet, obviously, with the notification bell. Give me a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.